Hello and welcome to the Lemon Tree Library. Today we're going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. If you have the book, you can follow along with me. You can turn the page when you hear this sound. If you don't have the book, that's okay because I have all the words and pictures right here. Shall we begin? Okay, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. For my sister, Krista. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly. The end. That sure was a hungry caterpillar, wasn't it? Maybe next time you're eating pears or apple or strawberries, you can pretend to be a caterpillar and gobble them all up. Next time you're outside, you might be lucky enough to see a butterfly. And when you do see one, you'll know exactly where it came from. A caterpillar. Well, thanks for reading the story with me, and I'll see you next time at the Lemon Tree Library for some more stories. Bye-bye.